Hi, I'm David Gregg with the Rhode Island Natural History Survey. I'm going to give you a tour of the Artists on Expeditions show for 2024 that we opened a couple of days ago at our open house. Our offices are open to the public, the exhibit's free. Uh, we're located off Route 108 in Kingston at URI's East Farm Campus. You might want to give us a call if you're coming from a distance because sometimes Kyra and I are out of the office uh, at the same time and we wouldn't want to miss you. Hope you enjoy the art. The Rhode Island Natural History Survey presents videos to showcase the animals, plants, geology, and natural systems that surround us, and the people and organizations working to understand and conserve them. So I finished the painting at the North of the North Atlantic Ecosystem. It's now it's now it's now hanging at the Natural History Survey in Kingston, Rhode Island. With me is David Gregg, and David Gregg's going to tell us a little bit about the Natural History Survey and their art show and open house. And then we're going to hear, as promised, two songs by Stephen Lighty, the minstrel of the North Atlantic. The first song is going to be on the North Atlantic Ecosystem and the second is going to be the 3D Shark. Now here's David Gray to tell us about the Natural History Survey. Take it away, David. Thanks, David. 
The Natural History Survey is a nonprofit organization. We're not a state agency or a department at the University of Rhode Island. Uh, and we're here to encourage the public to participate in environmental science and to encourage people to use science to solve environmental problems. And every year we put up an exhibit, an art exhibit, and an open house in January. And this year we're really excited to have David bring uh, a painting for us uh, to put next to our three-dimensional shark painting, which has been here for a little while. Artists have been part of natural history since the beginning. Uh, we can learn a lot from artists about the environment around us that you can't tell from a list of species or from a box full of dead bugs. So we're really excited to have the art here. We're really excited to have Dave here. And we're going to uh, hear some more artists interpreting the environment with music. So take it away, Steve. Thanks, David. Got my good friend Johnny Wahoo Whitaker here. <laughs> Great to be back here with the three dimensional shark. Hope you like the song. One, two, three. It's a three dimensional shark. It's got three dimensional teeth. It's got three dimensional dorsal fin and it's swimming right all over the beach. It's a three dimensional shark. Its bite is worse than its bark. Well, it's a three dimensional shark. 
shark. It's a three dimensional shark. One dimension is a fishing line. Two dimensions is a flounder in the sand. Three dimensions is a space and time. When the great white shark breaks the surface of the water, it's flying through the air. Blue fish beware. He's got a three-dimensional heart. He's got Ampelai and Lorenzini. He sees three dimensions in the dark. Well, he's a three-dimensional shark. His bite is worse than his bark. Well, he's a three-dimensional shark. He's a three-dimensional shark. One dimension is a line of surf. Two dimensions is the crest of the wave. From the water, sharks in the air, apex predator. Well, it's a three dimensional shark. It's a three dimensional shark. It's a three dimensional shark. Well, it's a three dimensional shark.